this video, we are going to discuss about how to configure the product availability in Odoo e-commerce. In every e-commerce business, the availability of product is very much important to keep the customer retention alive. The customer should have basic idea on the availability of product in the website so that they can get tuned to the service again. Odoo e-commerce helps in offsing the information to the customers on product availability or stock availability on e-commerce website. So let's see how we can configure this product availability in a e-commerce. So before moving on to that, you have to go to your apps. So from your apps, you can check for the module called as product availability. So install this module. So this module will help you to manage the product availability in your e-commerce. So when you install this module, you can see that at the settings of your website, automatically the options for product availability gets enabled. So under settings, you can see that the option of the product availability would be automatically so here this option that is under inventory to manage the availability of product get automatically enabled so now in order to see how we can manage the products in our e-commerce go to products select any one of the products so here you can see already created product so let's select a product called pen so let's open this and from here open the tab called e-commerce tab and under e-commerce tab you would be able to see an option called as availability under availability you have certain option that is to see regardless of inventory to show inventory on website and prevent sales if not enough stock or to show inventory below a threshold and prevent sale if not enough stock and to show a product specific notification. Now let's see all these cases one by one. So suppose right now for my pen product I am keeping the availability as that is sell regardless of inventory. And let's save this and from the name itself we can understand that when we go to our website and shop for this product it will sell the product regardless of the inventory now here you can add the quantities that you want you can add this to your cart so here you can see that for your product pen you can add how much of the quantity you want so how much of the quantity that you want it will not depend on the inventory so you can add this to your cart and then process to checkout now let's see what happens in case of the other options for so right now from my cart if i am deleting this product and now i am again going to my website and then choose that product that is pen and here now we can make the availability as that is show inventory on website and prevent the sale if not enough stock and now let's save this and go to our website so here you can see that as the name implies itself it shows how much it had on hand so here you can see the quantity that it had in his on hand so it says that it has 100 units available so in this way it can notify the customer that for the product called as pen it has a quantity on hand is 100 units so this is what happens in case of the second option that is show inventory on website and prevent the sale if there is not enough stock so suppose if you choose for uh, 120 pen so you can see that it will automatically leads to 100 units itself because the on hand of this product is 100 units and only 100 units are available. 
so this is what happens in case of second one now let's see what happens in other two cases for that again you can go to your product that is you can select your product and there you can provide our product was pen so you can select that and again you can provide the availability under e-commerce that that is show inventory below a threshold and prevent the sales if not enough stock so in this when you enable that you get an option to mention its availability threshold so right now we have the quantity on hand is 100 so let's provide the availability threshold as 50 and save this and now let's go to our website so right now you can see that the product is in stock now let's make a purchase of some 53 units of a pen so right now you can see when you add this to your cart, no warning message comes but when you continue shopping of your same product that is pen you can search for this and when you select your product pen here you can see that a warning message will come which shows that the inventory below the threshold and it will prevent the sale if there is not enough stock so if you add some quantities that is above this that is suppose if you add 50 you can see that it will automatically move to only the available units that is 47 and this is how the third case that is show inventory below a threshold and prevents if it is not enough stock works now let's see the third case for right now i am deleting this from my cart now the third case was to show some product specific notification for that you can go to your products here you can select your product so under e-commerce tab you can choose the availability that is show product specific notification so when you enable that here you get an option to add the custom message so here you can add the custom message that is and you can save this and now let's see how it affects in website so right now you can see that the custom message that we had added to our product that is buy one get one free is being shown on this product so these are the four cases in our product availability that is show regardless of inventory show inventory on website and prevent sale if not enough stock and show inventory below a threshold and prevent if there is no enough stock and the last one was to show the product specific notification so this is how we can configure the product availability in odo e-commerce if you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any odo implementation or customization in your business drop your request to info at cybrosis.com